Redeem me, O Lord, and have mercy on me. My foot stands on level ground. I will bless the Lord in the assembly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. This Mass is suffered for the intentions of Joanne Garrett. O oh God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments, we have sinned, been wicked and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings and princes and fathers and all the people of the land. Justice, O oh Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem and all Israel near and far, in all countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery toward you. O oh Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and having sinned against you. But yours, O oh Lord, our God, are compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your command, O Lord, our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoner's sign come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. 
you have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, be merciful just as your father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Jesus Christ. I have a small announcement. We are accepting registrations for global, the Global Synod listening sessions. You can register online at sda.org or you can go to the front office after Mass if you wish. Be merciful as your Father is merciful. At the beginning of the Mass, in the intro, we ask the Lord for mercy. And then in the penitential rite, we also ask the Lord for mercy. In the first reading today from the book of Daniel, he says that the Lord is merciful. And then the gospel, we continue with the theme. This is something very important for Pope Francis, remember? We even had a year of mercy. After mass, everyone is welcome to pray always. The Divine Mercy Chaplain, have mercy on us and on the whole world. There will be a judgment without mercy for those who didn't practice mercy. That's what the Lord says in the gospel too. The church have the works of mercy, 14 of them, seven spiritual, seven corporal. And Jesus says how you practice mercy in this gospel by stop judging, stop condemning, con condemning Forgiving instead. Remember the encounter with the woman. Whoever has no sin, cast the first stone. Well, all of us have sinned. Stop judging, stop condemning, forgive, and you will be forgiven. Practice mercy. Lord, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. Please stand. Trusting in God's mercy and compassion, we bring our prayers to him. That the Lord may abundantly bless the church with faithful dis disciples who are merciful as he is merciful, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may bring peace and unity to all nations and peoples, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may sustain and confront those who are grieving the loss of loved ones, 
we pray. Lord, have mercy. That God's abundant grace may come upon our catechumens and candidates as they complete their initiation into the church, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of Ukraine, for a spirit of cooperation between nations, safety for those fleeing oppression and danger, and for all who are scarred by war and violence, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of jo Joanne Garrett, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And that God may gather together our beloved dead and welcome them into his loving embrace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. The intention that we hold in the silence of our hearts and for the intentions of those watching online today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of abundance, we humbly ask you to look upon these prayers and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. The divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in your goodness these our prayers, O Lord, and set free from worldly attractions those you allow to serve the heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your will that our self denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the time he was betrayed and enter willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks broken, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be for all, for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Thomas Aquinas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be for heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, for only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Be merciful as your Father is merciful, says the Lord. Let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, cleanse us of wrongdoing, make us heirs to the joys of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God.